Simac Corporation a golden opportunity to Haiti's prosperity. Simac Incorporated is a New York-based company founded in 2004 by a group of Haitian-American professionals initially to invest in real estate in Haiti. It is registered both in the U.S. and in Haiti. At a meeting called by Dr. Leslie Curtisan in March 2004, seven of his colleagues, all medical doctors, jointly agreed to explore the real estate market in Jacmel, a small town located two hours away from the clamor of Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti. These initial investors are all members of the present board of directors who are still committed to promote Haiti as a potential investment ground. Given the risk inherent in doing business in Haiti, they were and are still motivated by the desire to achieve a more sustainable form of foreign aid to their country of origin than the revolving door effect of charitable donations. The only dream we have is to see a better Haiti, and I'm sure that's the dream that most of us from the Asian community, we do share such a simple dream. With a capitalization investment in excess of $5 million, the company has now expanded the original vision of its founders to encompass investment and ownership in several key areas of enterprise, real estate, tourism, mining, agriculture, and eco-trade. Accordingly, Simac Incorporated is poised to take full advantage of its position as one of the most dynamic and progressive Haitian American companies engaged in business undertakings in Haiti. Long before the earthquake that clearly puts a new focus on decentralization, the CIMAC investors have taken the bold step of moving away from Port-au-Prince, concentrating the bulk of their investment activities in the city of Jacmel. With the purchase of a 24-acre oceanfront property within the limits of this city, a true preserve of indigenous Caribbean culture located on the southeastern coast, and the acquisition of Cap Lamadou Hotel, Simac became the first such group of expatriates to begin transitioning their business from Wall Street of New York to the main streets of Jacmel. The choice of Jacmel was made easy by its historical reputation as a local destination for weekenders in search of a wonderful place to relax and for its vestigial New Orleans style French architecture, its great appeal to musical artists, literary geniuses, and great painters. Jacmel is also a city of contrast where the decay of the past surrounds the modern vibrancy of urban living, where the rough waters of its oceans gradually reach its shores in an agitated yet calmy waves that caress so gently its beaches bathers body. A city of high peaks and low valleys, a city full of life, yet a great source of serenity for the troubled soul. With its waterfalls, its kaleidoscopic panorama, its hilly homes and humble, shaky habitats, Chakmel represents the perfect hideaway place for adventure seekers. The Bellevue Project was conceived to offer Haitians the choice of a pied à terre at home. It is a private, highly secure residential community with guarded gates, sharing common amenities with a four-star hotel on a 24-acre oceanfront located near the regional airport of Jacmel, less than two miles away. A total of 120 condominiums will be built using the same construction standards found throughout the Caribbean. In addition to a marina, clubhouse, and a 400-seat theater, a number of high-end fashion boutiques and shops will be part of the resort-style condominium project. A homeowner association management will assure the maintenance of what promises to be a well-manicured, architecturally designed landscape accentuated by a long, tortuous promenade along the side of the ocean. While the company has no illusion of Haiti's readiness for competing presently on the international tourism market, the acquisition of a quaint little hotel on the shores of Jacmel is a major step towards stimulating the highly desirable domestic tourism market. The Cap Lemadieu Hotel, located on a hill overlooking the Bay of Jacmel, has attracted a large number of the Haitian Americans from the diaspora. We felt that uh, being involved in tourism was uh, a very, very important uh, component of uh, trying to help development. Recently, the Choice Hotels International signed a franchise agreement making Cap Lemandu one of its own brand hotel, the first such penetration by a major American hotel chain in the hospitality market in Haiti. Choice has also extended such agreement to the proposed Belle Eve Hotel. Conscious of the fact that Haiti's natural resources have not been exported for well over 50 years, 
When an opportunity was put forward to join a Canadian company interested in mining the northwestern part of the country, the idea was quickly converted into a joint venture that is in its fourth year of operation with Metascall, a Canadian mining company. The projections for gold and copper extraction based on preliminary encouraging indices appear to be very favorable to CIMAC investors. CIMAC Corporation's asset extends as well to only in the northern part of Haiti with close to 200 acres in addition to 80 acres of Acule du Nord for agricultural projects. Needless to say that CIMAC believes in sustainable development with an elaborate program of agriculture which will jumpstart Haiti's agricultural machinery that has been dormant for more than three decades. Presently, the land is a sugar plantation and the recent harvesting of 20,000 plant plantation constitutes a pilot project testing the ability of the company to get involved in more elaborate agricultural enterprises. The cornerstone of our investment strategy is the direct social impact of our projects job creation, environmental preservation, and improving the conditions of life in historically deprived communities are part of the company's mission. If you love Haiti, you would understand that, uh, that we, we have to look for other means of energy to cook. The Haitian people will take pride knowing that they're producing uh, the, 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 all, the, the ethanol this is the clean cook stove, which is uh, the lead appliance uh, for the project. It's an ethanol stove. The original reason this stove was invented some 30 years ago was uh, to invent an extremely safe stove that could not explode, could not spill, could not leak, could not catch on fire. Deforestation is the direct result of poverty and lack of alternative source of combustible materials. By creating CIMAC Echo Trade Incorporated, the company is committed to reduce our dependence on wood burning as the main energy source. At CIMAC, we believe in providing clean energy alternative to encourage people to protect the environment. In this spirit, our Echo Trade section collectively with Gaia Project and Public Private Alliance Foundation will promote a new ethanol burning stove in Haiti. Such a stove is both economically and ecologically superior to charcoal combustion in the long run thereby creating a new market for ethanol production and business opportunities throughout the country. As Haiti continues to mature politically, at which point political violence is no longer a threat to the present stability, the CIMAC Corporation remains confident and continues to consolidate a wealth of individual talents and resources to shift Haiti from a culture of poverty to a land of prosperity, thus making a positive difference in the lives of Haitians. Let's together achieve scale, growth, jobs. jobs.